The antechamber, I think, is the uh, beginning that uh, Howard Carter faced. Uh, Howard Carter found inside the tomb of Tutankhamun almost 5,398 objects, like the Golden Throne. The Golden Throne actually never traveled, never left Egypt, because uh, I think the curators in the Cairo Museum, when they choose 55 objects to travel in the 70s, they said the Golden Throne has to stay. It's really a masterpiece. Uh, the Wishing Cup, which is uh, a beautiful masterpiece uh, of art, and the Dominican, I really believe it's a beautiful uh, portrait uh, of the king. When I think of the antechamber, it comes to my eyes, these three beautiful objects. The Golden Mask, it is the most beautiful artifact or object ever found in any place in the world. When Howard Carter opened the mummy, and he found that the golden mask is, con is touched completely with the head because of the resins, he tried to take it, he couldn't. Then what he did, he took the mummy outside of the tomb and put it under the sun. It never melted. And he put the tools in fire, and he took the golden mask out. Because of that, he damaged the mummy actually to 18 pieces. The only good part in the mummy was the face. I wrote a book called The Treasure of the Tomb. I found out that Carter did the best way. There was no way for him to leave the mask on the, uh, on the face of the mummy. And therefore, look at the mask. It has exactly the realistic face of the king. This mask traveled once, but it cannot travel again because this is the most precious object. This exhibit is the most beautiful educational exhibit. It can tell the people to learn about the discovery, to learn about archaeology, to learn about every piece, can touch the hearts of everyone. It was made to show archaeology, to show the discovery, to show the curse. It's an amazing exhibit that the children will never forget. When even they come and they look at this replica of the mask, it is exactly like the original one. I really believe that these beautiful scenes showing King Tut in the burial chamber in front of other gods and goddesses is really amazing. When I came to the tomb of Tutankha Amun and I took the, cof the third coffin out, I had a beautiful moment in my life meeting King Tut face to face. That's when I began to examine the mummy for the first time. I put it under the CT scan. And what's amazing, the CT scan was brand new. But when I put the mummy underneath the CT scan, the machine stopped for no reason. And that was the first time in my life to think that something could be called the curse of Tutankhamun. I actually had lots of work to do with this sarcophagus because I opened it. Inside this sarcophagus, there were three coffins. And this is why in this exhibit, they're showing the three coffins beautifully. And the middle one is the most amazing one because it's made of solid gold. I think about 243 pounds of gold because gold in Egypt was like dust. If you look at every coffin, it has the vulture and the copra for protection, and you have the false beard for the king, and you have the crook and the flyer, because this is the symbol of kingship. It represents the king as a ruler, not only for today, but for the afterlife. And now the mummy is saved completely underneath, because this, for him, will live for eternity, forever, as a god. I found out that the mummy was in danger because of the breathing of the tourist and also the dust. Then I came to the tomb. I moved the mummy from the sarcophagus. I put it in a showcase that I brought it from Germany that has temperature to protect the mummy. Then any tourist now who will go to the Valley of the Kings, enter inside the tomb of Tutankhamun, will be able 
to see the face of the golden boy. And that face has magic and mystery. It will capture the heart of anyone who will enter the tomb of Tutankhamun.